hi guys how are you doing i hope you're all okay and uh thank you for continuing to support me to subscribe to my channel and uh for the new people who have subscribed this is an inspirational space feel free ask a question leave a nice comment and uh don't forget to put the notification on for new videos every thursday i upload a new video so um, for today we are going to start the fun stuff so the 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 introduction is over so today we are starting with uh, what i like calling the hard work so we start with the topic hiv and aids hiv is broad and a lot of people think that they have a lot of information about hiv but unfortunately when you try and ask them you find that they are more into myths and misconceptions rather than the real facts so let's start with what is what is hiv and aids hiv is a human immunodeficiency virus while aids is acquired immunodeficiency syndrome so hiv is basically the virus that causes aids you can have hiv and not have aids you can also have aids uh, HIV can also progress into AIDS, but with a proper antiretroviral therapy, you can go back to having HIV the virus. Um, there is no cure for HIV, so the only medication we have is the ART, which is the antiretroviral therapy, which are just medication we take uh, depending with, uh, with which line you are. We have uh, three lines of medication. We have the first line, second line, and third line, but we shall talk about that in our next episode so for today we're just focusing on hiv and aids so most people ask me this question what are the symptoms of hiv basically hiv does not have symptoms because it's a virus that comes into the body and then destroys your immune system which is the white white blood cells which means it makes you vulnerable to different opportunistic infections there are a number of opportunistic infections but we shall tackle that later on so when the opportunistic infection come in, it means your body is weak and your body is exposed. And uh, that is actually the reason why most people end up uh, dying because of HIV. But HIV as a virus does not kill, but the opportunistic infections do. So most people say, but uh, when you Google, you will find a lot of symptoms. But most of these symptoms take years. Some people can take between three to 10 years before the full symptoms of HIV come uh, come out, or they are seen, uh, they are seen, <laughs> or they are seen. Yeah, or, uh, yeah. So it can take a long time. But uh, for the antibodies, or the, for the HIV antibodies, they take uh, 14 days to be seen via a blood test. So you can, after 14 days of exposure to HIV, that is when you get to. You can get tested and uh, the test can either be positive or negative. It just depends with uh, if you were infected or not. So how do people get infected with HIV or what are the modes of HIV transmission? One, we have through sexual intercourse with a person who is living with HIV. So it is not just sex, it's it, the person has to be HIV positive for them to infect you and uh, probably not virally suppressed. Uh, two, you can get it from mother to child, uh, which is basically how I got it because I got it from my mom. So, but nowadays with the prevention of mother to child programs, uh, the mother to child infection is actually going on the low. You can also get it by sharing injectable drugs, like the hard drugs. For people who do hard drugs, they actually are at a very high risk of infecting each other because of sharing the sharp objects like needles. And uh, even for some medics who are uh, exposed to sharp objects like blades it puts them at, at a risk um, also you can get hiv through blood transfusion however in uh, 2019 getting a hiv infection through blood transfu transfusion is kind of hard because uh, nowadays the blood is thoroughly screened so that is a little bit uh, not a very major way of getting hiv so how long what are, how can you know that you have hiv you cannot know that you have hiv by looking at yourself in the mirror 
or by looking at someone else and concluding they're HIV positive. No, it has to be done through a blood test. Uh, it, also ha it also can be done through a self-test. A self-test can be just a saliva swab or uh, the small prick, but it's just a home test that you do to test if you have HIV or not. But we, can, we, we are going to explore more about the self-test and the traditional test later on. So we're going to go on with this HIV topic next week. And uh, remember to subscribe and like and share. Thank you so much.